Hello everyone, Steve here. Just going to do a quick run through of this uh, effect I've got going on here, which is a little bit like a sort of like a karaoke style thing. Um, inspired uh, a lot by this um, blog post I saw from Chris at Cavalry, and it's this little effect I saw here. Um, I will leave a link to this in the description just because there's lots of other cool things you can do with text in here. Um, but we're going to try and recreate this um, here. And because it's cavalry, we'll make it all nice and procedural so we can plug in whatever and, and do what, whatever with it. Um, okay, so let's just start off. We'll make a new composition, just click this button here. And I'm going to make this square, so 1080 by 1080. And I'm also going to start off with a background shape. So I'm going to hit Command, full stop, and background shape. I'm going to give it a colour. You can just add a background colour just in the composition settings here, but I think with the background shape, it just gives you a bit more flexibility in case you want to plug in like a colour array or something like that. And a background shape is basically just a rectangle that just scales to whatever size the comp is. Um, I'm going to add a stroke on as well, so just to add a bit of a border um, and make it white. There we go. And then I'll lock this away just because I don't need to select that again. So let's make some text, uh, just with the text tool, or you can just hit T. And text in Cavalry works like a lot of other um, apps, where if you just click and type, you create this sort of string which goes on forever, for infinity, just in one line. And that's not what we want. We want um, a box, like a paragraph text, basically. So the way to do that, just get the text tool, click and drag, and just draw out a box. And now you'll see if we start typing, it will just flow down um, the box, which, which is what we want. So just in the attribute editor, I'm going to paste in some uh, placeholder text. There we go. And I am going to style it. So let's give it a inters fine for a font and make it nice and chunky, so black. And I'm going to give it a, a color. And also, I'm going to vertically align it here and then just center up in my composition just so it's right in the middle. So to do the background shape, uh, if I was doing this in After Effects, it'd be a complete pain. It'd be you'd have to manually do it or use some sort of script or expression or, or some sort of plugin, and it'd still be proper janky. But in Cavalry, it's literally just if you go up here in this little background tab, you just click this plus sign here and it does it for you, which is amazing. So down here in the scene window, what that button has done is made its own little background shape object. And it's also grouped it into a folder, which makes it nice and neat and tidy and just, just down here. Um, I'm going to double click this just to bring it up in my attribute editor. And with it selected, uh, let's give it a color. There we go. And at the moment, you will see we are selecting each line. So this mode here, this just controls what we are selecting. So if you scroll through these options, you can see you go for the whole document, paragraph, line, even down to the individual character can have its own box. But uh, we want the word for this, so each word is going to have its own individual um, background behind it. And I also just want to style it a little bit so it just has a bit of um, space around the text. And that's just the padding options here. So uh, just increase these slightly, um, whichever you want, 15 or 5, yeah, you go, that's fine. And I also want to round the corners off. Uh, that's dead easy to do. Just with the background uh, shape selected, just go to deformers click the plus and just chuck a bevel on there. And I am quite happy with the default um, settings, but if you want to change it, make it more round, uh, just bring it up there and just control the, the radius. Uh, I'm gonna clear that out now. And the next thing we wanna do is just make sure we are selecting just one word at a time rather than the whole block. And if I just pull up my um, text, go onto the background, we have this uh, option here for specific indices. So we can control any one of these uh, words. So indexes in Cavalry always start at zero. So if I hit zero, I am gonna be selecting the first word and if I hit one, I'm on the second word and so on. Um, you can also hit uh, first um, or last if you wanted to always selecting the first or the last word and you can hit commas to do you know, stack these and have multiple, so you could have, you know, last zero, so always going to be these words in a string. But what we want to do is be able to control selecting the first word and animating all the way through to the last word. And what we're going to use for that is if you right click on the specific indices, 
go down to utility and just click sequence and we're going to load that up uh, you'll see that now for, oh for some reason i don't know why it comes in as four on the, on the y-axis um for on the default setting so i'm going to zero that out and now we are just um selecting the first word zero and by changing the offset here we can then animate through um, the string and if you just wanted to do this for just one string of text you could literally just animate just keyframe this um, this number here up to whatever however many words the string has but we want to make it um, procedural so we can chuck in whatever text and it will just automatically know how many words are in this string and for that let's just go back to um, the actual string itself and to figure out how many words are in the string there is a utility for that and it's called string length so command full stop start typing in string length there we go double click it bring it up in the attribute editor and then just plug um, create a connection here from the string up to the string length there we go and you can see now it's telling us we have 98 characters in this string of text and if we just change that to words we now know that there are 15 words in this string so and if we go down to this string now and just type in another word in there that just updates automatically so that's what we want that makes it nice and procedural so what we want to be able to do now is animate between this number here zero and this whatever this number is here and there is another little um behavior called value blend which is what we're going to use for this so if i just command full stop value blend where are we yeah double click that and now we can plug in this um this number here out and we're going to plug that into the second number there what the value blend does is literally just whatever number you plug in there and plug in there, it will just interpolate between zero and 100%, which is exactly what we want. So now we can just get this value blend behavior. And if we plug this into the offset, we can now animate between at zero, we will be selecting the first word and at 100%, well, this is the next little thing we have to get over because, um, because indexes start at zero, uh, even though there are 15 words, there's only, there's, there's only gone up to 14 because the, um, the first word is zero. So at the moment, it's just going to go right off the edge just as we get to 100%. And if that's what you want, brilliant. But if you want it to actually finish on the last word, um, dead simple, go to this second word, right click, and just little expression minus one, which is just taking one off whatever that number is. So now at zero, we are going to be at uh, zero percent. We will be at the first word in the index, and at hundred percent, we are going to be at the last word in the index. And now we can just keyframe that, you know, um, zero to a hundred, and that is just going to run through every word in the string. And no matter what we plug in to, no matter what the string says, uh, that will just automatically update. So we can do lots of cool things with that. We can plug in, um, like. Um, string arrays and all, and all sorts or hook it up to a, a google sheet so yeah so a couple of other things we can do with that um i've got a couple of other examples here this is basically the same thing but rather than using a background shape um let me just open the string here we are just going on to the material behavior and you can add in um, a text fill and it's just exactly the same with the um the specific indices we're just plugging it into the the value blend um the other thing is uh, the very first one we've just got a string array going in here so you can see we've got all these different um strings in a string array and we're plugging that into um just into here so that's just going to scrub through and the way we go through each different string um just down here i've got the uh, two keyframes and i've set the first one to loop hang on if we go into the graph edit that might um you can see I'm just sitting, setting these to loop. So we're going from zero to 100%, and then back to zero, 100%. And every time um, we get we go back to, to zero, this index here, I have just set this to, it's, it's keyframing between zero and one at the moment, but I've set this to, if you right click, loop after, you can go loop with offset, and you can offset that by one every single time. So 
every time it goes up you can see um, it's going up by one so let me open the graph editor again so you can see now it's just incrementing by one every time so each one of these is just a new string on the array so the other thing I should mention is I've put all the project files here onto scenery so you can just go and download these pull them apart have a mess around with them and it is free as well so uh, you don't have to pay anything so yeah, so hope you have um, fun with this and it's taught you something. Um, any questions, let me know, pop a comment, um, that'd be great. Cheers, thank you.